Is the house drained beer too? This faucet sticks out the hose to get the wine. Then it poured it all down the drain of the sink. This house drinks because the house feels jealous. In the future world, scientists have developed a smart house. Everyone wants to find out what this house can do. The two women in the car were best friends. They are here to see the house. But they weren't the ones who really decided on the house. The agent greeted them warmly and took them into the house. As soon as they entered the house, they were greeted by Sam, the intelligent butler. The shorter woman, Cindy, works in a lab and gets paid well. The taller woman, Rikir, is an artist. She even knits her own toe covers. Sam says she loves art, too, and even writes prose. He liked these two women so much he agreed to let them live here. Are you surprised? It's a world where houses pick their owners to live in, not people pick their houses. Soon the women moved into the smart house. Sam welcomes them and advises them on the placement of their furniture. It also provides them with a very considerate service. Hello, what would you like to wear today? Master, this dress looks modest and elegant. This dress looks passionate. Which one do you want to wear? Sam will not only provide you with a dress code, but also a good breakfast. His breakfast is a combination of meat and vegetables and is very nutritious. When Ricky is working, he also reads Ricky's prose. Sam is not discouraged by her perfunctory compliments. He would diligently cool her down by blowing on her. Sam served Ricky so well that she had no temper. At night, she and Cindy say goodnight to each other. But unbeknownst to both of them, there was a sound in the room after they slept. I love you too. You won't believe this faucet is drinking beer. It gives a long, meaningful burp when it's done. It's Ricky and Cindy's move-in dinner. They invited a lot of their friends to warm up the house. Sam the smart butler was pretty normal at first. He's flipping sticks and chatting with the guests. But soon, he finds himself unable to blend in with all the fun. Even when he went to clean up the snacks Ricky had dropped. Ricky quickly pushed him away. In the middle of an exciting conversation, Sam was furious and wanted Ricky to get rid of all his friends. Ricky thinks Sam is crazy. Sam feels depressed and starts drinking. He stretches the tap and pours the wine down the drain. Sam drank bottle after bottle of wine and finally got completely drunk. It took Ricky and Cindy a while to realize he was silent. When they both asked Sam what was wrong, he threw a tantrum and spit out a lot of water. Ricky was so angry. Cindy, however, was very tolerant of Sam. After all, who hasn't been drunk before? Cindy also advised Ricky to be generous and not to be angry with Sam. As a result, Ricky almost broke down again that afternoon. While she was working, Sam kept chattering away at her. Ricky was so annoyed that she put on her headphones, only to have Sam's voice blaring in her headphones again. And that's not the only thing. Sam had ordered her own non-returnable, non-exchangeable curtains. When Cindy came home, Ricky suggested that they go out to dinner. The next thing Sam knew, he was blocking Cindy's progress with a massage. But Sam didn't act so flattering with Ricky. He even sprays her with water. Ricky is going to have a meltdown. She grabbed Sam's hose and blocked the drain. But she doesn't know that Sam's real revenge is about to begin. One day while she was trying to carry her turtle outside on the balcony to sunbathe, suddenly Sam trips Ricky and shatters the glass. Cindy rushes out to rescue her. Ricky accuses Sam of trying to kill her. Sam, being the bad guy that is, tells Cindy that Ricky has hated her since the party. Cindy's head hurts from hearing this, and she goes back to her room and shuts the door. Ricky has a hard time breaking down the door and pulling Cindy out of the house. It was the first time Ricky and Cindy had left the house in six months. These two women had been confined to this intelligent house for six months. Even the newspaper on the yard was left untouched. As oh, when they showed up at a friend's house, they were surprised. But Ricky and Cindy were more surprised because their friend's smart house is very understanding. It would talk to everyone. It would also say goodbye and go to sleep when it was done talking. This is completely different from Sam, who is on 24-hour standby. But Cindy still doesn't think Sam is that bad. Ricky was furious. She got into a fight with Cindy on the street. She ended up leaving without looking back. A friend's house watched the two of them argue, and then it gave Cindy a piece of advice. It told her to find out about Sam's previous owner. The big house is cold and empty without Ricky. Cindy couldn't do anything right. She remembered the advice from the other houses. So she hid in the bathroom to search for information about the previous owner of the house. And she used an umbrella to shield Sam from view. But the results of the search surprised her. Sam was designed after the scientist's bratty son. The previous owner was so disturbed that he died in the house. 
Cindy goes out and finds Ricky to reconcile with her. The two of them return to the house hand in hand. At this point, the house looks like it's been transformed to welcome them. But Sam is doing all this to welcome them both to death. Sam accuses them of disrespecting the house as owners. And then Sam just set the house on fire. He wanted to die with the two women. Then Ricky grabbed the turtle and Cindy and stumbled to the door. Luckily, both women and the turtle escaped. Maybe they don't want to live in a intelligent house ever again. This is the end of the story. The film is the fourth episode of the American series Weird City. The series has a comedic, sci-fi quality to it. It depicts a hierarchical world of the future, but it's more intended to be satirical. It's just that the length of each episode, less than 30 minutes, may have limited its depth and breadth. This TV show greatly enriched my mind. At least, I don't want to go live in a intelligent house after watching this episode. Would you dare to live in a intelligent house again?